So in the last video we added two workflows to our project which was linting and tests and uh, in this episode we're going to add dependency uh, for these workflows. And what does that mean? Uh, you see in real world uh, CI/CD environments the workflows or let's say the jobs has dependency on each other. Let's assume we have third workflow right here which named deployment and it's deploying our code to production and we don't want to run this workflow um, until these linting and tests are passed, right? Uh, we don't want to push any breaking code to production. That's why we have to make sure that linting and test both passed before running the deployment workflow. So in this video, we are just going to configure these workflows like to make sure that the deployment um, the deployment workflow skipped if one of these uh, workflows are failed. Okay, um, so let's get started. Um, for now, unfortunately, we don't have deployment uh, workflow, but I can still, uh, but I can still show you um, using these two workflows. And yeah, the goal for this video is add dependency on tests, which means that the linting should succeed before uh, running tests. Okay, so if linting fails, that means we are going to skip the test workflow. And it's actually pretty simple to configure that in uh, using GitHub workflows. Um, so at the moment you see we have rule there, which means that each time we made any commit to YouTube branch, this workflow, linked workflow will run. But now we are going to change it by saying workflow call, which means that we are going to reuse this workflow inside other workflows. And that will be the test YAML. So if, if we are going to push, for example, any commit or create any pull request, this workflow won't run we have to call it from another workflow to trigger it. So let's go navigate to test YAML. And inside test YAML, we have only one job, tests. Um, so let's, um, let's add another job named linting. And basically we're going to say that it's going to use, it's going to use my linting workflow configurations, okay? Simple as it is, GitHub workflows, um, GitHub workflows, and linting YAML, and that's it. So at the moment we have two jobs in our tests workflow. Okay, and now finally on tests job, this one. Uh, sorry, the, the naming conversions can be a bit confusing. Uh, the workflow named tests, but inside it we have job named tests. Um, and for tests job, we are going to add a dependency by providing this rule right there, needs linting. And this one refers here, this the, the previous job. And inside this job, we are calling our linting workflow right there, which we configured this on workflow call. So it's supposed to work. Um, okay, so let's save it and get, uh, let's add the change. And let's in fact, um, let's just um, make some syntax issues to make sure that the test um, the test job will be skipped. Okay, so at the moment we have only one workflow, only one, which is tests with two jobs and the first one, linting, reusing our linting workflow. Okay, it will make sense now in a second. Just give me, give me a moment to push my change. Add workflow uh, dependency and git push. Cool, all right, let's navigate to our uh, GitHub Actions board 
and our workflow listed there already. That's it. As you see, the um, the graphical demonstration is also updated. Um, we have only one work one workflow running at the moment, test YAML, in with two jobs inside it, linting and running tests. So, uh, as I said before, uh, we are reusing, reusing our linting, uh, linting workflow right there, and it's failed, which is supposed to be. And that's it. Uh, as you see, the running tests job skipped because the previous one uh, if is failed, and because we have dependency on that, which we defined here. You see, this test job needs linting to to be succeeded. Okay, um, let's fix our um, code very fast and push the change, the commit, and fix the linting, and git push. Let's go back and a new workflow already started. Oh, oh no, this is the previous one. Okay, let me refresh the page. There you go. Linting and then running tests. So, um, let's wait like for a few seconds to let this job finished. And if that succeeded, right away the running test job will start. Oh, it's already succeeded. Cool. And there you go. This job is also in pending, which means that uh, the logic we configured works properly. Cool, uh, that should be all. The only thing I want to show you is uh, we can do in that way as well. Uh, at the moment we are reusing our linting workflow, but if I will copy this, this job and add it here, okay, and it's going to be same, all right? It's going to be same, but we are just keeping our workflow um, workflow files clean in that way, clean and more organized by reusing them. Uh, but it's absolutely same logic. I can even show you. Uh, the only thing I need to change here is, you see, I changed the job name, which I have to update it here as well on dependency. Let's copy and paste it. Save, and that's it. Let's, um, or the GitHub action will throw its, okay, let's delete it. Let's delete it. And add our change and git commit. I'm just going to override, or oh, let's not, okay. It will require me to force push, which I don't like. Um, what we can say, update workflow. Mm, update workflow for tests. And git push. Is it already pushed? Okay, let's go back. And there you go, and that's it. You see, it's same thing. We are just make we're just keeping our um, workflows more organized and uh, more clean in that way by basically referencing uh, by by re by reusing our uh, other workflows. So let's uh, wait for a few seconds to make sure that it will run. Actually, it is, but uh, just just to make sure that everything works properly linting it's passed and running test should start now and there you go cool okay uh, that's all thank you for watching um, hopefully you learned something and saw some real practice in that video and yep stay connected see you in the next video